Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Jurors here. So, I got some requests to do a video of how to get geared in Russia. And so that's what we're doing. And we're going to have some extras as well. I know this is super cringy. We have the snipping tool up and that's how we're looking at the map. Um, so let, let's just go over some real quick stuff here. Um, so first of all, where are the military locations? Well, first we have uh, the tunnel right here. We have the military base right here. Woo. And then we have a tunnel up here. And so those are the, oh, and we have Zavod. Those are the only non-dead zone um, military locations. There is like a military tent in Moscow. And there's probably a couple other small things. But those are the main ones. That's what I try to concentrate on. Um, and then we have to look at dead zones. Uh, we have the silo right here. We have the bunker right here. And then we have the oil rig right here. Uh, so what do you do? You, you spot on the coast. You don't know where to go. What the heck do you do? Okay, this is always my strategy whenever I play Russia, which is quite often. So chances are you're going to farm next or going to farm, going to spawn next to one of these farms. Uh, so what I do, oh, that's a camp. Ignore that one. Here's a farm. <laughs> what I do is I go to one of these farms. I just sit around collecting a um, cloth, make a bed, and just keep killing zombies there and resetting the loot by picking everything up until I find a chainsaw. Once I have a chainsaw, I know I am good to go. Life is going to be good. So normally, I'll head up this way. I'll go hit the police station. You'll get a Chris crack there. You always get one practically. So that's just like an easy way to get your first gun. Because early on, when you don't have your skills maxed, it's kind of hard to fight like the, uh, the runners and stuff like that. Especially if you're low on health or low on bio or whatever it is. And so you get a Chris crack. And so now you're fighting zombies, right? You're good. So yeah, this police tunnel is freaking awesome. And it's super easy to get to the police tunnel because you spawn on the coast. So you're like, okay, I know the water is south. I know this giant ocean is south. So you just go the opposite direction of the ocean and then to the left. And you can find this this uh, police outpost every time. People think Russia is confusing to get around in. It's really not. Very, very simple. Um, all right. So now you have your chainsaw. You have your criss crack. Now you got to decide on your base location, where you're going to build it. There's a few spots in the map that I think are best for base building in Russia. The best one is the one I have historically used. It's up here at the top. Um, I'm coloring it in kind of. So you can go. It looks like you should even be in the dead zone. You pass the second sign and you can still not be in the dead zone. And it's just super hidden right next to this military location right here. And it's just I don't know, really good. One of my favorites. It's away from military base, so there's a lot less heat. Um, you barely ever see anybody, honestly. All right, so this area up here, it's pretty decent to build into. Not as good as right here, so um, I don't know. If you feel like building over here, that's not a bad idea either. Um, and then in the south, there are some good base locations too, but the problem is, is that military loot's going to be harder to get you're probably gonna have to build a small base up near one of the military loot spots. Um, so right here, I really like this area down here. It's secluded. No one has a reason to go to it. And that's why I like it so much. And then also in this area you can build, it's pretty decent. Um, it kind of prevents, or it kind of, it gets you close enough to military tunnel where it's still uh, viable without building a second base near military tunnel or another military outpost. Uh, this whole area is like kind of danger zone, in my opinion. You'll get raided a lot um, if you build in that area. And same with the center, because people are often going through there. But there are certain areas, like Mount Nivik's pretty good for building. Um, there's some of these islands where people don't really have a reason to go to them. And so you might get away with a base there for a long time without anybody raiding you. But another spot I like is near Harbor here. Um, this is a pretty secluded area just because anybody going somewhere really doesn't go through this area. And you're close to quarry, so you can get a bunch of metal. All right, now that we have a base location down, we got to talk about metal. Uh, you're probably going to want to build a metal base. You do have a chainsaw, so you can start out with wood. But the two best spots to get metal on this map are the quarry, of course. And you'll always find a pickaxe there, so don't worry about bringing one with you. And then the other spot is Firewatch Base. Firewatch Base gives insane amounts of metal. Not quite as much as the quarry, but just insane amounts. So maybe put your base near one of those. Um, or not. <laughs> 
Okay, so now we have a base location, we have a metal base set up, what do we do now? Well, you're probably going to want to start going for some high tier loot. So, to do that on this map, you really need to either kill players, um, or just go to one of the dead zones. So we have the silo right here, this is my favorite one to go to. Um, you can also go to the oil rig down here, but it's a pain in the butt. You have to build like a, um, a bridge or something to it, or find a helicopter. Or something like that. But anyway, so I always go to the silo. Um, and then you can stop at this uh, um, bandits area as well. So what you're going to get at silo and the oil rig is you're going to get NVGs. You're going to get dragon fangs, Nykarevs, um, Alice packs. All that stuff that's like really, really key. So that's where you find that stuff. And then at this little bunker, this is the only place in the map that I'd, I know of to get like rocket launchers. Um... Uh, military ammunition, high cal military ammunition, uh, military drums. And so it is definitely worth stopping here on your way to silo or on your, or I guess if you're going from this direction, go, go to the bunker. It is worth it. Rocket launchers are awesome. Um, and those military drums hold a hundred shots instead of 75, which is freaking crazy. So yeah, that's where you're going to find your high tier loot. Oh, I forgot to mention, how do you go to the dead zone? Well, you need filters and you need a gas mask. And so where are you going to get that stuff? You're going to get it at any fire station or firehouse or firewatch base. Um, so clearly the best spot to get them is the firewatch base. Um, there's also these little towers that go down. You can see them right here. There's one. There's one. There's, oops, I just scribbled that one out. But there's one right there. And then there's one up here somewhere, maybe right here. I don't know. There is one up here somewhere. Uh, anyway. So. Yeah. So you get them from Firewatch Base. You can get them from Moscow. Anywhere with, with a fire station. Um, the fire stations have masks and filters. They're kind of rare. If you can, go to the Firewatch Base on a Blood Moon. And you'll just get hopefully two to three filters. And it takes about three filters and a full gas mask to do a run in the dead zone. In actuality, it only takes about two filters and a full gas mask maybe even a little bit less but you always want to have an extra filter in case you end up in a firefight down there or there's a mega zombie and you get like stuck killing him or something happens where you take a little bit longer than usual all right let's talk about vehicles real quick so there's a whole lot of vehicles that spawn <laughs> we're only going to talk about the important ones uh, so first of all the the crovia state this is the only spot on the map where you can find the uh, the Hummingbird, which is the fastest helicopter in the game, I believe. Um, you can find the military helicopters at the military base. Um, you might be able to find them at Zavad. I've never found them there before. You can certainly find tanks at Zavad and a military base. Um, but yeah, it's going to be... And then, and then we have like the uh, civilian um, planes and things like that. Uh, like the small one that goes in the water and stuff, whatever the heck they're called. But those will be at the airport, which makes sense. And then you also can find police helicopters um, in like Moscow. And I don't know where else. Maybe at this police tunnel, but I don't think so. I think it's too small. And then you can also find the dinghy. Um, it seems to pop up kind of randomly. It seems to pop up in this area. Um, there's a spawn for it on Mount Nivik. Um and then there's some spawn spots on the uh, the coast here, but it's relatively easy to find those things. All right, so I do want to say or tell you guys about some of the things that are kind of unique to Russia. So there is this long quest line, which is freaking awesome, and there's also a quest line to get the Mark II, which is that like super duper laser gun with no bullet drop, which is freaking awesome. But it takes a while, but really easy thing to do is to get berries and there's a berry um, that actually gives you more it's a jade berry that gives you more water than it does food it's the only food in the game that gives you more water than food so you're definitely going to want to come to the liberator it's just down here um, and once you get here you just come through here and then you're going to go into this guy's cell you just talk to this guy he says what's up oh here's the stairs so we go under the stairs and there's homie um and we can ask him why he's hiding. He asks us to help his buddy. All right, then he gives us the quest. Whoops. All right, there we go. So now what do we need? Oop. 
We just need to build an upgraded cake. So all that takes is uh, milk, wheat um, for the cake. And then you need a steely wheelie to put in the cake as well. All right, and once you do that, it's really easy. And you can get the berries. So the teal berries is the one you want, actually. So it just takes 100 XP each. And then you can have an amazing food source that is very unique and the best in the game, in my opinion. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Pretty much, you probably want to set up, set up near Firewatch Base or the mine if you want to build out a metal. If you don't care about building out a metal, then set up up here. Just because you can hit this military tunnel over and over and over again, and almost no one goes there. And then you also have Crowby right here, which you can hit up and hopefully get a hummingbird, which is the fastest heli in the game. Who doesn't want one of those? So I, I would suggest this little base spot. If you're going to go for it, you should set up base right there. All right, guys, I truly appreciate you watching the video. Hope you found it helpful. And yeah, click that like button and subscribe if you'd like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.